Good morning, my brothers. Welcome back to your daily grip on God's word. It's a continuation of Paul. And now he's in front of King Agrippa, sharing his testimony. And let's go ahead and dive in. So my grip is going to come from Acts chapter 26. Bear with me, 15 through 18. And my title is Jesus, Who Are You? Let's go ahead and dive in. Chapter 26, verse 15. Here we go. Then I asked, who are you, Lord? Remember, this is Paul um, looking back at his, his journey. I am Jesus, who you are persecuting, the Lord replied. Now get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to you to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen and will see of me. I will rescue you from your own people and from the Gentiles. I'm sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from the darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. How about that personal <laughs> intersection with Jesus himself? My reveal, my R, is the world appears to be coming darker and darker and darker. Satan appears to have embedded his evil in the areas of influence, in our government, in the media, entertainment world, sports world, and in the corporate business world. He has blinded individuals of the truth and holds them in bondage. My I, my implementation, Jesus is the light of the world. He dwells within me. Therefore, he is sending me into the world to shine his light, to break that bondage, to break the chains and shackles of the enemy that he has captured of God's people. I sense that God's, God is rising up to say, no more, enough is enough. Guys, personalize this. This is what I feel God's saying to me. Scott, my son, I have chosen you for such a time as this. I'm sending you, and I am bringing you that one man at a time. Watch me use you to shatter the shackles, to break the chains of the enemy, so that my people would be freed from the grip of that enemy and be saved by the eternal grip of my son, Jesus. Here's my prayer. Father, please send me to your people or send people to me that I may, that I may be a witness of what you have done in my life, that you would be glorified and that others would know of your love for them and that they too might be freed and be saved. I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Guys, it is clear that God continues to use in his grip to draw men to himself. He's also making it very clear he does not need my ability. He doesn't need your ability. What he needs is our availability to just raise our hand each and every day Say, Lord, use me. Send that man, that person along my path. Lord, I'll go direct my steps to that one man, to that one person. And you know what I'm finding there's power in? There's power in our story, in our testimony. And as we collide our story with his story, story of Jesus, that's where people find ultimate freedom is in him, not in my story, not in me, but it's me pointing people to him. It's uh, humbling to see what God is doing, humbling. Let me close this out. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for another story of what does Paul do when he gets in front of King Agrippa? He shares his testimony of when he came in that personal experience on the road with you, Jesus. Lord, continue to be, build each and every one of us into the man that's able to share our story 
as we're just walking out step by step in this game called life. Lord, use us. Be glorified. Be honored. And we look forward to that next one man story. And we, we promise to give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Bless you guys. I will see you in the morning.